You, yes, you who clicked on this video, have won today because you clicked on the best possible video about attaching an object to your character's rig. And before we begin, I'd also like to add that any resemblance this character may have to other pop culture figures is purely coincidental. Thank you. Hey guys, thank you so much for clicking on this video. So today we're going to be going over how to attach objects to your character. So just for the purpose of this video, since I have kind of a complicated uh, lighting situation, it makes my computer a little jerky, so we're going to be doing most of this in the EV view render. So to get this started, you have to have your object. So as you can see, it is not attached to my character at all. Uh, the hands are just kind of there right now. So here's what we need to do. I am going to try and put this in the hands in the way that I would like, because I've already actually molded this kind of into these hands. So let's try and get it roughly where I want it and where it kind of was before. I think I'm gonna have to do some killer rotating here. Okay, I feel like that's pretty darn close right there to what I would want for my uh, hold. So what we need to do now is we need to attach a bone to this object. So select your object that you're working with. In this case, I'm working with this lamp. And I'm going to do Shift A and then hit Armature. And now we've got this little bone down here. Just a humble little bone. I'm going to hit S and scale it up a bit just so we can see it better. And what we're going to do is it doesn't matter like the orientation. So don't really worry about that. But I'm just going to try and get it kind of in my object uh, as roughly in the center as I can, I think. And so I'm going to have it be around right there in my object. And if you're wondering what view mode I'm in, I just went uh, over here into my uh, solid viewport shading. And then I also selected x-ray mode just so I could see where I was placing that bone. I'm going to toggle off x-ray mode. So select your object, then select the bone. And now I'm going to do uh, right click, parent, the object. So let's see if that worked. Yep. So if you select your bone and just hit G, you should be able to move that object around with that bone that you have attached. So make sure that the bone of that object is selected, that it is attached to your object. We're going to go over here into uh, object constraint properties, go down, say child of, and now select your dabber and I'm going to select the armature uh, of my character. And now you'll see an option pop up which says bone. So this makes it so you can choose the specific bone you would like the bone of your object to follow. So in this case, I'm going to want the hand. So I'm going to choose the right hand. So I'm going to scroll until I see the right hand. There's the right arm, right hand. So I'm going to click that. And now you'll see it pops up into a random spot. So all you need to do, don't freak out. You don't have to readjust it. Just set, set inverse, and then it will pop back to where you originally had it. And now you'll see, I start all my characters in a T pose and you'll see when I go to that T pose, I still have that lamp connected to the hand. And as the character moves, she has that lamp in her hand. And that is how you attach an object to your character. I hope this video was helpful guys. I really enjoy doing these videos. Um, I know I, I've been gone for a while, so hopefully you guys haven't been too mad. Um, thank you for clicking on this video. And also, if you liked this video, we have a video for Blender Challenge of how specifically me and another creator called Quail Run Animation even modeled this lamp. So thank you guys again. Hope you have a great day. And make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Bye-bye.